Let's head to Queensland now where the latest YouGov polling, I was shocked this morning when I read this in the Courier Mail, it's revealed a pretty grim outlook as we expected it was coming, but not this bad for the Miles government. Labor on the numbers released today in this poll could be on track, some say, to lose at least 21 seats in the October election. Now, clearly things you would think will tighten up before polling day, but it seems after a love affair with Labor, Queenslanders are re really ready for a change. To discuss this and much more, our Friday night regular, former Queensland Premier Campbell Newman. Campbell, six months to go. If this poll is anything to go by, it's not looking great for Labor, is it? No, it's not, mate. And uh, I'll just say it like this. This is the first poll I've seen in nine years since my government was voted out where the LNP actually really do look like winning. So uh, that is very encouraging because we need to have a change. We need to get rid of this absolutely incompetent government and uh, an incomplete of a Premier. But just to, to give you an idea and the, the viewers an idea of the, the challenge for the LNP, their primary vote is... 44, which is great. It's got a four in front of it. Uh, we lost in 2015 with 41.3 and we won in 2012 with a primary of just under 50%. So they're sort of in the middle. At the moment, though, what's really happening to Labor with this primary of 27 is that uh, the Greens vote has gone up considerably. So Labor are really losing ground. So votes going from Labor across to the to the Greens. So the combined Labor Greens primary is 42, uh, which still has them, you know, in, in sort of contention with preferences. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. We spoke last week about the fact that the LNP have been playing a small target strategy. I do make the comment that this polling was done, we're told, by the Courier between uh, the 9th and the 17th of April, and the real bombshell came out around the 19th. Uh, that Chris Afoli and the LNP had backed Labor on the emissions targets. I can tell you now, mate, lots of very angry LNP people, lots of muttering uh, about voting for One Nation, uh, and so they will be relying on those preferences, I've got to tell you. Yes, it will be important to look at the next poll. I mean, just on this... I know, I mean, you know much more about polling than me. It, it's clearly going to tighten up between now and Election Day. But what is the, what do you believe is the key issue that is driving this uh, the collapse in the Labor vote? Is it the, is it the health system? Is it the crime uh, spree that seems to be uh, rocking many major cities in, in Queensland? Is it is it incompetence in, in general, the Olympic argument? Is, there any, is it any one thing or is it all of the above? Oh, look, it's all of the above, but if you want an order of priority, mate, I'd say it's uh, uh, youth crimes, number one. That's really got people rattled. Um, you know, I've been affected, as I've said on this show before, uh, and so have my neighbours. Um, it's, uh, I think, cost of living hitting, you know, particularly middle and, and outer suburban areas in the southeast of the state and our regional cities. Uh, I think the health system is... Yeah, you know, I think people tend to sort of see that as always being a state of crisis, but it is particularly bad now with the backlog in surgery waiting times. And I think the, the real problem, though, is leaders get ultimately set with a, a particular persona. You know, the community start looking at them in a certain way. And I think this giggles thing is stuck with, with Miles. I think initially he was doing quite well, and I think, though, that uh, the way that he sort of uh, had a few missteps and things that went on with youth crime that uh, really I think people have got him pegged now and that's going to really hurt him. Challenge for Chris Foley is I think the, the blowtorch will go on him now about what he would do. What are his real policies? Uh, and will he be Labor light or will he be a, you know, will he be the sort of government that, you know, that uh, saw, well, I, the, the, the saw Queenslanders voting 70% against the, the, the referendum, whereas Chris Foley and the LNP voted along with the government of for treaty and truth telling and that's at quite odds with what really people are thinking in this state. So that that's uh, the challenge. It's look, it's it's Chris Afoli's to lose now. Uh, speaking from 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 uh, this this poll.